Hey, I'm Kay Flay, and these are five tracks that inspired me. First song that inspired me was Psycho Killer by The Talking Heads. Uh, I think I was just, I was a kid when I heard it, and I used to just run around my dad's living room screaming it. I think I liked screaming the words psycho killer. I felt very powerful doing that. I also did not understand that qu'est-ce was French. Um, I thought it was like an English word that I <laughs> just didn't know the meaning of. Um, and I remember I went, I took like allowance money or something and I bought what I thought was the record that has Psycho Killer on it, but I, but I actually had accidentally bought a live Talking Heads album, and I was so upset that the song sounded different than how I'd been listening to it, that my dad traded me the, the actual album for the, for the live album. Um, but, I, but I think there was something you know so irreverent, so fun, so punky, about that track and it just appealed to me as a kid um, and I still I still love it today. Hysteria by Muse. I actually just saw them play this live and lost my mind. Um, I've seen I've seen them live before but I, I love Absolution as a record. I love I love kind of that that period of rock music and what Muse was doing melodically as well you know I mean obviously it's an iconic bass line it's frantic it's crazy um, when when that when that drum beat comes in you know it just it feels incredibly good and uh, as as I got more into rock music and in, in terms of the, the style of music I was making I think you know, especially recently, Muse has just been looming super large in my in my psyche um, because I love so much of what they do and and the spirit of it and you know all the parts are are just really exciting. You know, I think with a, with a three piece band, it's like you're you're kind of forced to to make each individual contribution really compelling and and I love how they do that and I love Muse. Third song is a more recent track. It's called Gorilla, it's by Little Sims, and I love her new record. I've been a Little Sims fan for a while. In fact, uh, the director of my video for Black Wave, I found because of Little Sims, um, so I've been a fan for a while, but I love the lyricism, the attitude, um, you know, it's kind of like, it's like a bars track, you know, she's just, she's just like, she's rapping. There's incredible wordplay. It's funny, it's serious. It kind of like tonally covers a lot of ground um, and it's really confident. And it's one of those songs like you listen to and you just feel cool. And I think I'm always inspired when I hear, when I hear music that, that feels really fresh, really original um, and really authentic to the person who's making it. Monster Hospital by Metric. I'm a giant Metric fan. I feel like I talk about them all the time, so maybe it's just getting boring at this point, but uh, Live It Out, the record that that song is on, is like one of my all-time favorite records. The, you know, it's, it's that juxtaposition of, of really interesting lyrics, um, unique word choice, very descriptive, um, alongside riffs that I think for me is just so exciting and it has, has been a really constant point of inspiration throughout my career. And I, I love when those two things get married, like the raw energy of sort of like punky, grungy rock and then pretty dense and surprising lyrics. For me, that's just like the ultimate sweet spot. This song is called Kitty Kitty. It's by Destat. And uh, it was first played for me by Paul Meany, who is a, a wonderful producer and one of my big collaborators on this, this next batch of music. 
and it's it's a it has an electronic um, kind of baseline riff that that really undulates throughout the song, and it has this like slow build, slow build, slow build, and then it it hits, um, and and the satisfaction I think of just riding that one that one wave, that one riff, that one energy, and just slowly building on top of it until it reaches this kind of like apex, this this point at which it cannot go any higher um, and must kind of crash down. I love that. I think building tension like that in a song is so difficult. And whenever I hear it, I'm just like energized, I'm excited. And, and I think that's something I, I'm really inspired by is that that growth of tension. And again, lyrically, very tongue in cheek, uh, really interesting, playful, but also serious. I just love it. <laughs>